In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at some more array manipulation functions. We're going to take a look at how we have the ability to concatenate two arrays together, how we have the ability to insert and remove items from the middle of an array, as well as, how, as, well as how to slice some elements out of an array. So to get started here, let's go ahead and create a new array. We're going to create an array called colors, and we're going to have red, and we're going to have blue, and green, and black. So the first thing we want to do is actually concatenate two arrays together. So we're going to create a new colors array. We're going to say colors.concat and then we're going to supply a new list of colors here. So we have pink, um, we'll do orange, and we'll do gray. Now this is not going to modify the original array. This is going to create a new array of seven elements. So if we do console log.dir new colors, we'll see that we have our new array of seven elements. And so here we have red, blue, green, black, pink, orange, and gray. Now, if we come here and say console.dir colors, we'll see that our original colors array has not been modified. One of the little challenges with with JavaScript uh, array functions is that some array functions uh, destructively modify the array when they're called, and other functions non-destructively uh, create a new array as a result of being called. So colors concat doesn't modify the colors array, it just creates a new array. Whereas if we called the sort function, the sort function actually modifies that colors array, not just returns a new one. So now let's take a look at how we can actually add and remove items from an array. So we have a function here called splice. So I can take my colors.splice and I have the ability to actually insert and remove. So basically I specify my starting point. So I want to start at index 1. So I'm going to specify index 1 and the next argument that I can pass in specifies how many items do I want to delete. So for right now I'm going to say I want to delete one item. And then I'm going to put my closing parens on there. And so I'm basically going to splice out one item. All right, we'll do console.log and we're going to reload. And so here you can see the one item that I'm basically pulling out of the array. It's the blue item, which in the original array is the second item with an index of one. And so starting at one and counting that one, that's the item that comes out. Now, if we come up here and grab console dir new colors, we'll just paste it down here and we'll reload. Now you'll see that my array only has three items, red, green, and black. Okay, so that's how you can remove an item. But in addition to removing, we can actually add new items. So let's say I wanted to add another new color in here. Let's say this time I want to add purple. I'm still going to be removing the blue, but now I'm going to be inserting the purple in its place. So if I reload this, we'll see that my array now has four items, except that instead of having blue, I now have purple. Now I can specify as many new colors on here as I would like. And it will insert all of these items at this index of one. So now if I reload, we'll see that I have five. And we have red, purple, orange, green, and black. Now, if I don't want to delete anything, I can just specify zero. And when I reload this, we're going to see that A, nothing was pulled out. And now I have my full six items. So I have red, purple, orange, and blue. Now notice when I specified the index of one, it inserted at the index of one. It didn't add it after the index of one. So purple and orange now come before blue. If I wanted purple and orange to come after blue, then I would specify a two here and reload. And now we'll see that purple and orange now in fact do come after blue. Now if I specify zero here, I do have to specify some new items that I want to insert. If I'm not specifying anything to delete, then it doesn't make any sense to call the method 
unless I'm planning on inserting something. All right, so now I have my colors array here with the new items added to it. So now we wanna take a look at the slice function. With the slice function, we can actually come in and specify the start and end indexes for slicing out part of an array. So I'm gonna say console.dir colors.slice and we're gonna start at index three and we will go to index five. And let's take a look at the result of that operation. We're gonna reload this and we're now gonna see that we have two items in our new array. We have orange and we have green. Now our array before the slice was red, blue, purple, orange, green, and black. But we specified three and five. So if we take a look at this, we'll see that at index three, that's orange, so that's what we see here. And then we specified five, which is in this case black. Now notice it didn't include five. It was up to five, but not including five. So we have the orange and green has been what's, has been what's returned to us. So if I were to change this to two, then I would have three elements being sliced out of the array. And if I reload my page, we can see here we have purple, orange, and green, and the original array had red, blue, purple, with purple being the index number two, which is what we specified here. Now let's take a look at the colors array after we've done the slice. We're gonna see that the slice was non-destructive. So the splice actually added and removed items from the actual array, whereas the slice simply return to us a new array. So as I said before, it's key to know which functions in JavaScript for arrays actually modify the array and which ones just simply return a new array.